she wasn't a suspect. I just said she was a Russian. Huh? She was suspected of spying for Germany. Wait, a Nazi? That's the allegation anyway. Damn. So where do we start? Well, check this out. The college was involved in world affairs even before the war. In 1932, Dr. Winslow began expanding the language department and hiring new faculty, including a language professor from Berlin. Just a moment. to ask you the same thing, neighbor. You see, I'm from next door. I thought someone better break out the welcome wagon. Uh, yes, of course. You must be Miss Garson. It's very nice to meet you. Likewise, but call me Eileen. I didn't catch your name. Oh, it's uh, Lorelei, Lorelei Detweiler. Well, now that that's out of the way, do you mind if I come in? Well, the place really isn't. <sighs> well, isn't this a nice little room? practically had to rebuild mine when I moved in. This place hasn't modernized in years, so I hear you're new to town. How do you like it so far? Well, it's much quieter than Boston, but I haven't had a chance to see much of the campus yet. Boston? You moved here from Boston, did you? Honey, I thought you were from farther off than that. Yes, Boston. Well, this isn't the Ritz-Carlton, but it gets the job done. <gasps> isn't this just a pretty little thing? You know, I used to have one just like it, but it flew right off my head and in the traffic. I was sore about it for a week. Oh! <gasps> Is that one of those new vacuum sets? I have been dying to try that out. I can't believe they've outdone the crystal set. Excuse me, but I still have a great deal to unpack. Well, why didn't you say so? I'm only here to help. No, I would prefer to work alone. It's been very nice meeting you, Miss Garson, but I must say good night. <laughs> Catty women in the workplace, some things never change. You can say that again. So don't tell me this was just her nosy neighbor trying to get back at her. That's what I thought, but look on the next page. A number of students approached the campus administration with complaints about this professor's unorthodox lesson plans. The actual complaints. I'm 15 minutes late and you found all this? That's how much there is in here. I'll keep looking through while you catch up on those. Sounds good. Children, kitchen, church. Repeat after me. Kinder. Kinder. Kuche. Kuche. Kirche. Kirche. Very good. Now I've read all of your latest translations and I must say I was quite pleased. Shall I take this lesson up a level? The answer is, Ja, Fräulein Detweiler. Ja, Fräulein Detweiler. Uh, Vivian, I gave you a poster, correct? Mm-hmm. Well, go on. 
Arbiter, uh, Der Stern, Der Faust, Wealth, Den Frontstalten, Hitler. Translation, please. Workers of the mind and hand vote for the front soldier, Hitler. Very good. Now I'm sure you're all aware this is a political poster. Does the message seem familiar to anyone? No? Well, your own candidates use the same sort of tactics, Republicans and Democrats alike. You see, politicians around the world have finally realized that it is the workers that make up the backbone of a modern society. Unfortunately, most resort to empty promises and pretending to understand the masses. What do Mr. Hoover and Mr. Roosevelt know about the plight of the masses? Very little, I imagine. All right, sir. Work on your song translations for next week. I have a faculty meeting. Well, you see, class, everything German is absolutely marvelous, whereas everything else is horrible. Go, Germans! Hail Hitler! But, Fraulein, if, German, if Germany is so great, how come you lost the war? Miss Johnson, the door is that way. Show yourself, all of you, back to your slogans. Now that you're up to speed, what do you think? Was she or wasn't she? Well, Watson, I'm gonna go with taking a look in that box. Wait, didn't the book say she had a sister? Yeah, doing the same kind of thing in BC or BU, why? Well, why don't we look up the sister and see if anything sketchy comes up? Good idea, I could take a break from this. And you? Have you met with Carl yet? Yes, I actually just came from there. What did he say of your work? Double, triple your efforts. Ah oh, yes, it's all I've been airing. They expect too much. These American students are so hard to influence. It's not like at home where everybody is already informed and progress is already in motion. Well, he's quite happy with my transmissions and my classroom progress. So much so that I've been given a new assignment. Really? That's great! If I'm not careful, you'll surpass me with these promotions. You see, it's, it's of a more personal nature than my past assignments. You must know the American ambassador to England is returning from his stay in London. Yes, yes, plans have been underway for months since we heard of this. So, what is it? Are you going to be relaying new transmissions? Well, I'll be receiving information now. I've been assigned to obtain this information personally, d directly from the source. Wait, what? Don't tell me. They said they were sending in a girl. You're going to be the girl? You guessed. Well, why so unenthusiastic? It is a great honor. Think of it. The possibilities are endless. I just don't know about this. I don't mean any disrespect, please keep this between the two of us, but I don't think it will work. The days of Mata are you long gone. <sighs> Personal jobs are so different. One word and I could ruin everything for all of us. I'm just so nervous. <sighs> you're my sister. I would tell you if I did not think you could handle it. I know that you're right. This is not an opportunity that will come every day. Or perhaps you could come with me. I have to meet him at that fundraiser next week. It's only a few blocks from here and... No, 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 no. It would raise suspicions. Best not to have associations. Of course. Well, maybe they could send Christina with you. She's better at social jobs anyhow. All right. Only I may need a bit of help. I'm afraid I've let myself get out of practice. I've been at a girls' school too long. I honestly don't remember the last time I was out with a man for some, something that wasn't to do with work. I don't know why they picked me for this. You have an excellent memory. They need somebody who is not going to be taking notes every five minutes. You'll be fine. You're a smart woman. It's just that I'm not exactly femme fatale material. The last time I made eyes at a man, I was asked if I needed new glasses. Oh, everything's function with you. You dress for comfort, you smoke out of habit. Well, what do you want from me? I'm a good party member. I've never been frivolous. That's the problem. 
Haven't you ever wanted to buy a hat or a dress that you knew you couldn't afford? Of course, but I already suppressed it. Well, we're just going to have to stop that then. Hmm, how to tap into this other side. You do that nice girl bit, fine, but how to tap into it? Hmm, ah, there's a Jean Harlow film tonight, we'll go. I don't understand. You hate pictures, especially the actresses. I thought you said Hollywood was what, the epitome of American decadence? Research. The way I see it, if some funny looking girl can put a little bleach in her hair and be some beautiful screen siren, then we can work wonders with you.